Hello, what's up? Juliano Negri here. In this video, we are going to check the full functionalities of the Omni Wheels by comparing it to the simple differential driver using one of the very common path planning algorithm, go to point. Hopefully, we are going to see the advantages and the simplicities of adopting the Omni Wheels in our robot. Because this time, we are going to change the go to point strategy to use all the degrees of freedom of our robot. So let's get started. Keeping up with our series of videos with Mecano wheels, in the past class we set up our robot to move around the world of Gazebo using the Planner Move plugin. Also, if you want to learn what the GoToPoint algorithm is, I recommend you to check out the Exploring Draws with a Two-Weld Robot series of videos where Marco code and explain the algorithm in details. So if you come over here inside the folder scripts, go to point. This is the basic code that we're going to be using. And this is the same one that Marco used in his tutorial. So if you want to understand it better, you can take a look in his tutorial where he codes and explain each part of the code. But basically this code has two parts. The first one is to fix the orientation of the robot to make the robot to look straight ahead to the direction of the goal. And the second part of the code makes the robot move straight ahead to the goal, just go straight ahead. But because we are going to have an Omni wheels, we don't need to fix yaw and walk straight ahead. We can do both of those in the same function. So in order to have our own script, we are going to create a new file called go to point omni.py let's just copy it over here so as I said before we don't need that one neither this one and we are going to define a new fu function called go to point So let me walk you through the code. The first important part is to calculate the errors. So we have the errors from the X, Y, and yaw. It's very important to normalize angle to be sure that it's between minus pi and pi. After that, we need to change the coordinate frame of our goal. So this is very important for the robot to understand whether it needs to go in the X direction or into the Y direction. So after translating the goal's position to the robot's position, we can calculate the robot error. And we can have a very simple control here with using if functions. So, if the error is positive, our robot goes straight ahead or straight to the left. Otherwise, it goes to the other direction. And the cool part of it is that the robot can walk and turn at the same time. So, it's a pretty complex movement, but it's very, it makes it simple to control our robot in the high level. So, we are keeping track of the errors. And when the errors are small, we activate this flag and we change the state of the robot. So to make it work, we just need to change this main function. We need to go here, go. And here, the last thing that we need to change is that we need to, need to remember to get the yaw position over here. So we just need to get one more parameter. parameter.
Let's remember to import. After doing that, we can go to our launch file. In the beginning of the launch file, we have the parameter description. So we have the x, y, and theta position of the goal. And in the tail of the launch file, we have the node we are going to call our code. Take a look here, it's for Omni. And also I have the launch file for the simpler version of the go to point. So we can compare both of them. Before launching the code, we need to remember to make it ex executable. So we need to open a terminal. Folder. Let's go to our script folder. And we need to have and we can check that it work it. So now we can open the simulation. Let's take a look. Let's start with the simpler code. Now we need another shell. To call the service, there is a function. Uh, there is the command called raw service call. So its name is so you can just press tab, and it's going to auto complete for you. Make sure to write true because it's going to turn on our code and as you can see it, it worked great Now we are ready to compare our code, so let's launch our new code and see how it works. So as you can see our robot go to the right position while not facing this direction. Looking to that is a little bit misleading but it works pretty good and it does work like that in the real life. The robot does not need to look to where it's going because it can go in all direction while in the X and Y plane. So thank you guys. If you want to play around, you can just come over here in the IDE and play around with the goal values so you can have some fun as well.
and hopefully you could grasp how good and what are the functionalities of the Omni wheels and how you could and now you are able to simulate your robot